Hi there, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to be sharing a little bit uh, about Noodle Tools with you. Noodle Tools is an online citation creator and a research tool. Today, we're going to look at how to log in, how to create a project, how to um, cite some different online sources, and then um, how to export your project at the end. Okay. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, I'm here at our library homepage. You can see a list of all of our databases right here and online subscriptions. The one we want to look at today, like I said, is Noodle Tools, and it's right there. Um, you click on it, and it's very easy. We can just log in with Google. Once we're in, um, you're going to notice a list of all the projects that you've ever created in your uh, during your time here at SFS. Um, so for right now, some of you might have an empty project list. Don't worry. Um, we're going to start making projects today, and then it'll be um, you'll fill it up really fast. Uh, the expectation is that you are creating a project in Noodle Tools every time you have an assignment where you need to cite information. Um, whether it be in science class or humanities or any subject whatsoever, if you're expected to cite, you can use Noodle Tools. So let's create a project right here with the green uh, box and the plus sign. Click on New Project, and you're going to name it. Uh, I always name my projects in Noodle Tools, starting with the grade that I'm in. And the reason why I do that is because then it will organize all your projects by grade level and you'll keep them so you can, you know, refer back to them later for sources or anything. So start with the grade, uh, then name the subject that you're in and then name the subject or the topic of your project. So this one that I'm doing is grade nine humanities and it's belt and road. Next, I'm going to choose MLA. Um, we will be using MLA uh, to cite your sources, okay? And then also choose your citation level. We're going to choose advanced. At this point in high school, we are all um, at the advanced level for citation, and you can choose from 70 different things that you can cite. Okay, once you're in, it'll bring you to a dashboard. Uh, you can use this dashboard more if you would like. Um, one of the things that I like about the dashboard is if you're doing a group project with friends, you can actually share it um, with your partners. So you can collaborate on the same works cited page or, or bibliography. Um, but only do that, please, if it is a, a, a signed group project, okay? Uh, to add sources, you can click on sources right here in the middle. Um, so this is where you're going to start adding, adding um, all of your sources that you've used for the project that you're uh, currently working on. And so this could be anything from websites or um, database uh, articles or news articles, anything at all. Um, you'll cite them here. So uh, we can always see that we're in the right place because the project name is listed up here. And uh, then you can start adding your sources. So I'm going to click the plus. And you need to tell Noodle Tools two things, where you found it and what it is. So the first thing, I'm going to cite three different sources today. Um, the first one I'm going to cite is, um, let's do the news. So I have a New York Times article. Uh, it's a website, so I'm going to tell it uh, website. And then for a news, a free news site, I'm going to choose website and then web page right here. So New York Times, um, like I said, it's just a website, web page. Uh, and now my job is to fill in um, all these boxes here with the different uh, information. So first of all, um, I'm going to go to the article that I have here. It's a New York Times article about the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of copying and pasting, honestly. I'm going to copy the URL, which is the web address. I'm going to say the date that it was published and the date that I accessed it. Well, that's today. So I'll click on today. It fills it in for me. But I need the publication information. 
the date of the article, January 15th, 2020. Um, I also need the title of the article. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to the name of the website. It's New York Times. And then I need uh, the name of the author, Keith Bradshaw. Oh, and the date. <clears throat> the date of the article was January 15, 2020. So name of the website, publisher of the site. Now this is interesting. It says here, um, leave it blank if the publisher's name is the same name as the site. And it is, the publisher of the site is the same, New York Times. I don't need an editor because I already have my, um, my author for my article and that's it. That's all I need to do. If you're looking for the publisher, you're actually going to find that uh, with the copyright statement, usually at the very bottom of the site. So for example, down here, it says 2020, the New York Times. Um, and that is telling me that that's the publisher there. So I don't need to put that twice. So I'm done. I filled in the New York Times, the name of the web, the article, everything. And I'm going to press save. Oops. I also appreciate that Noodle Tools gives us lots of good tips. So sometimes it will come up with a little tip, like don't forget to put this, or it might tell me um, if my, for example, if I had a small S here, it will give me a tip, like you should probably capitalize whatever it is. So it gives us tips along the way. Okay, now I'm going to save. And you'll get faster at it the more you do it, right? And you know what you need to include. So here is my citation already created, okay? Now the next one that I'm going to cite is uh, Culturegrams. Culturegrams is um, an online subscription. It has lots of information about different countries. Culturegrams creates their own content. So it's actually not um, from anywhere else. So it's a database that creates its own content. Similar to like online encyclopedias like Wikipedia, or sorry, Wikipedia, uh, World Book maybe, or Britannica, they're similar. So I'm going to add that source, new source, and it's a database, and it's original content in a database. But as you can see, look at all these options of things that I can actually cite, uh, videos, images, charts. Sometimes that's hard for people. They're not sure what to include. So it's a database with original content. Okay, let's look at culturegrams. Now, uh, I have two options here. In culturegrams, I can do the same that I just did a second ago and copy and paste the URL and the article title. But guess what? Often with one of these subscriptions that we pay for, um, it will help us generate the citation. You can see right here at the bottom. Ooh. I like that, right? I like that it's going to give me a little bit of help. And I can choose APA or MLA. Well, we already decided that we're doing an MLA uh, works cited, and, and we're using MLA through high school here at SFS. So I'm choosing MLA and it made me a really beautiful citation. And it looks a lot like the one that I just um, had. So I can copy it. I can click on copy citation and it copied it to my clipboard. I'm just gonna copy that. And I'm gonna go back to Noodle Tools. And like I said, I can either go through and I can fill in all this information if I want, or if I wanna do something maybe a little quicker, I can click on copy and paste a citation. And I can put it right there. Um, now, my uh, suggestion, if it does not include the URL, see how there's the web address right here? If that is not included, I suggest that you definitely put it in right here, okay? Don't forget that, um, so that you can go back to that source later. Uh, but in Culturegrams, it did that, so we don't have to worry. And I'm going to click Save.
Um, do a quick look just to make sure that it looks right, but um, it looks like a really nicely done citation and so we don't have to worry. The third one that I'm going to cite is an article that I found here in EBSCO Explora. Now I can do two different things. So the article that I found was um, here. And so it gives me right here in the description of the article, really all the information I need, the volume, the pages, the name of the academic journal, the author's name, it's all right here. Uh, so really easy to cite. But if I go into the article itself, um, it also gives me a citation option right here to the right hand side. So often um, the subscriptions that we have to these databases, they will do this as like a as a help um, to students. And it's something they provide a service they provide because we do pay them um, a lot of money for all of these online databases. So you can click on site. And it will give me uh -uh. where is it? Sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. Great. Okay. There it is. Ha ha. Okay. My window had been open too long. So there I clicked on that site and then this little button here that says site and it gives me lots of different options for the style. So make sure that again, remember we're using MLA. So you're choosing this MLA citation, copy it. And back to Noodle Tools. And again, this one here, where is that coming from? EBSCO, right? That's coming from our um, EBSCO Explorer. So we want to tell it that. And it is what type of, uh, let's look back here. What type of a citation is it? Oh, it's an academic, where is it? Right here. Academic journal. So it's a journal that we found in a database. So new source database and journal. Um, often that is the most difficult thing to figure out what are you citing? Is it an image? Is it an image that was born digital? Is it a photograph? Is it a piece of art? If you're not sure how to cite things, you just have to ask me um, and I'm more than happy to tell you how I would cite it within Noodle Tools. Okay, so just remember to ask please. But we have this copy and paste a citation again. And just down here, so it's saying it's an article in a, a journal article, and this is a manually edited. So we're putting that in there. And is the URL in there? Ooh, great. Yep, the URL is already there. So I don't have to worry about um, putting that URL below. And then I'm going to save. Amazing. So I now have three uh, perfectly created um, citations in Noodle Tools. Well, what now? What do I do now? Well, I'm going to export when you're all finished, when you've completed your Noodle Tools um, sources, listing all of them, you're going to export it and you can export it to Google Docs or you can export it to Word, um, whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to export to Google Docs. And it's going to create um, the works cited page for me. Look at this. It even names it sources for nine humanities belt and road. So based on what I titled my project, uh, it made this beautifully um, created uh, works cited page. I can copy and paste it into my longer paper. For example, I can change this if I need to name it something different, change the page numbers, whatever you need to do. Um, but that's it. Uh, if you have questions about Noodle Tools, come and see me. I'm more than happy to sit with you and help you out. Um, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.